Well, tough loss against uh, Bethune Cookman. Very good football team. Uh, that uh, veteran bunch, veteran bunch that Coach Jenkins does a, 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 has done a great job, you know, putting this football program uh, together. Uh, they did a, a ton of great things. They have great personnel. We didn't certainly play well enough to win. Uh, you know, in a situation where if you're late to a ball, if you're not in the right position, if you miss a tackle, they're certainly capitalized on it. They're a very explosive bunch, and uh, we didn't get enough going to, to to combat those type of things. Oh, that's the goal. You know, we certainly want to get back uh, in, in the W column uh, versus Hampton this week. Uh, once again, it's going to take a, an outstanding week of preparation. It's going to take our guys continuing to fight and understanding you know, what we're playing for here late uh, in the season with these final three games um, to go. You know, but that is certainly the goal to get back on the right track on the road and and uh, and uh, get the next win. What are the goals from here on? You know, actually a couple weeks ago, after dropping uh, our second conference loss, we kind of turned our, our season into one game seasons. We wanted to go 1-0 and each week. You know, with that said, uh, in these final three weeks, if we can go 1-0 and each week, we can accomplish uh, quite a few things. We can, we can finish with seven wins, uh, the most wins since, since 2006, uh, ultimately a winning season as well, and send our seniors out on, on a great note and allow them to, to leave a pretty good legacy behind them. This past Saturday, yeah. uh, special teams wise, again, continues to, 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 to impress. They continue to go uh, uh, full steam ahead. And, and in terms of that, Coach Bennett Hall does an outstanding job uh, with that special teams group. And uh, that's still a, a, certainly a silver lining in, in what we're doing you know, on our football team uh, as well. Um, uh, defensively, I thought we, we came out uh, uh, with a much better start uh, as well. Got a couple three and outs here early. And, and played well in spots, but didn't play for 60 minutes. You know, so it's going to be important for us to to put that together. When we put that together, again, we are a pretty good football team. You know, when we put those things together. You know, offensively, I thought we had some opportunities. You know, we had a couple opportunities. We had some open receivers that we just didn't get the ball to them. You know, one uh, Malcolm shorthanded. You know, due to a little bit of pressure uh, that was there, and 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 the second one we we just missed on a, on a wheel route with, with Thomas Dixon. And, and I think if you make those plays. You know, it, it turns the ball game uh, differently. You know, you get a little bit more momentum, a little bit more confidence in what you're doing. You know, but ultimately, uh, those things did not occur. <clears throat> It has been at, at, at times, but you know, ultimately when you go back and look at the film, you kind of see why. You know, we've kind of been up and down in that regard, just in terms of making plays consistently. That's what it really comes down to when you kind of go back and look at the end result, you know, for that matter. You know, so uh, it's been frustrating along those lines, but we just want to really see if we can put it together for, for a stretch here uh, in, in these final three, and, and that's what we're looking forward, to, looking forward to doing. But ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, when you go back and look at it, you kind of find out why, kind of see why, you know, you had that, that up and down play, and, and you just want to continue to harp on it and try to get it fixed as best as you can. What do you expect, uh, what do you expect from Hampton? Uh, good football team, you know, uh, last four weeks, three and one, and, and playing really good football uh, in every phase, you know, in every phase, you know. So uh, they're going to be flying around. Uh, talked about the energy that they bring. Uh, uh, on game day, this team that plays with a lot of energy. Coach Rose has those guys playing with a lot of energy, and it's going to be important for us to match that. Not only do we have to execute our game plan, we have to match their energy as well. Do you have a sense at all from some of your upperclassmen that these last few weeks they want to really prove something? I think so. You know, I just had a conversation with Jordan Reed not too long ago about you know seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and I think they're kind of all on that same page. Uh, in, in these final three weeks. And you know, as I told him, you know, that light gets to begin to get brighter and brighter. 
you know, each time, each week, you know. So uh, going out, you know, with, with these last three wins, you know, they have a chip on their shoulder and that they want to get that accomplished, you know, and, and it seems certainly behind them. You know, they're leading us the right way, you know. So it's going to speak volumes, you know, if we can get that done in these final three weeks. Uh, I think consistency in what we do, you know, in terms of play. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, personnel at times in terms of injuries. I mean, certainly there, there, injuries are going to occur in football. You know, this late in the season, who, who doesn't have them? You know, but when your best players are injured, you know, it makes it tougher. You know, some other guys have to have to step up and, 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 and make some things happen for us, you know, as well. But, you know, consistency has, has been a, a focus for us throughout the season. And, and uh, some, we, we want to get to the point that we can – and be a consistent football team in every phase in what we're doing. On the road again, um, this is going to be harder when, when you, even though that you're playing a team that's uh, you know, just been struggling too, it's going to be harder for you for the simple fact that you're on the road. Well, being on the road for us, you know, we, we actually uh, played a little better, you know, on, on, on the road in, in recent weeks, you know, for that matter. And, and we're hoping we can, you know, just – Put it all together, you know, regardless of what we're playing. But certainly put it all together this week. You know, we're, we're, we're just taking one week at a time. And I, and I know that's cliche, you know, but we really have to want to take this. And we've made it into one game seasons here, you know, throughout the week. And just getting out, preparing, focusing on our, our next opponent, you know, certainly which is Hampton, you know. But, uh, you know, getting on the road, you know, for us, you know, I think it'll be good just to, to get away here and, 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 and get after Hampton here this week. That success you guys have had on the road, you've won three straight away from home. I mean, do you, do you sense that you guys are just treating it like a business trip? Is the focus better? What do you think it is? Uh, every time we get on the road, we talk about it being a business trip. You know, that's exactly what we're doing just in terms of, you know, how we dress, in terms of how we prepare and, and, and as we get on that bus, you know, as well. And we, that's, our, that's our motto. You know, this is a business trip. It's going to just take care of business. So the ride back could be whole much easier, so much easier, you know. So... That, that, that's certainly the key. That's certainly our model on, on, on away games.